The Life and Sad Ending of Glenn Frey. Glenn Lewis Frey was born November 6, 1948, in Detroit, Michigan, USA, to Edward Frey and Nellie Frey. He spent his childhood in Royal Oak. As a child, he showed a keen interest in music and took up piano lessons at the age of five. Later, he also learned guitar. In the mid-1960s, he entered the Detroit rock scene. One of the earliest bands to form was Subterraneans. It included fellow classmates from Dundero High School, Doug Edwards, Jeff Hodge, Doug Gunch, and Bill Barnes. In 1967, he formed a band called Mushrooms with Jeff Burroughs, Bill Barnes, Doug Gunch, and Larry Mintz. The same year, Bob Seger helped the band secure a contract with Hideout Records. Soon, the band appeared on television to promote their single, Such a Lovely Child. Before forming The Mushrooms, he joined a local band called The Four of Us for a short while. In late 1967, he formed a band called Heavy Metal Kids with Jeff Burroughs, John Alberl, Paul Kelkhorse, and Lance Dickerson. In 1968, he provided vocals and played acoustic guitar for Seeger's hit single, Rambling Gamblin' Man. In 1969, he moved to Los Angeles and befriended DJ Southerner. Soon, he, de he debuted the songwriter for Long Branch Penny Whistle, a two-member band to form with Southern. Subsequently, the band was signed to Amos Records. In 1970, Frey befriended drummer Don Henley, a fellow artist of Amos Records. Together, they formed a backup band for Linda Ronstance's then upcoming tour. With time, Randy Mensner and Bernie Linden were also roped in. Frey and Henley decided to form a band with Meisner and Leiden. Thus, the Eagle was born and Frey playing a guitar and keyboard. The band went on to become one of the world's best-selling groups ever. After a decade-long success, the Eagles disbanded around the 1980, and Frey launched his solo singing career. He became quite successful and managed to establish himself as a singer. In 1984, he recorded The Heat Is On in collaboration with Harold Faltmeyer. The song was featured as a main theme for Eddie Murphy's action comedy film Beverly Hills Cop. In 1985, he performed You Belong to the City and Smuggler's Blues, the popular television series Miami Vice. The soundtrack of the series topped the U.S. album charts and featured the Billboard Hot 100. He also contributed to the soundtrack of films like Ghostbusters 3 and Thelma and Louise. The Eagles got back together in 1994 and released a new album titled Hell Freezes Over. The album had four songs apart from live tracks. Hell Freezes Over tour soon happened after. In the late 1900s, Frey found Mission Records along with attorney Peter Lopez. However, Frey did not release any of his work on the label, Mission Records label that is now inactive. Eagles' next album, Long Road Out of Eden, released in 2007. From 2008 to 2011, Frey took part in a Long Road of Eden tour. In May of 2012, he released After Hours, his first solo album in 20 years. A 2013 documentary titled History of the Eagles was shown on Showtime. It directed in Allison Elmwood and co-produced by Alex Gibley. The documentary won Emmy Award in 2013. An associated two-year world tour on the history of the Eagles concluded in July of 2015. This was the final public appearance of the band. As a television actor, he guest starred in Miami Vice, appearing in the first season episode, Smuggler's Blues. He played the lead role of the American TV detective series, South of Sunset, in 1993. The series was canceled after the episode. He guest starred on Nash Bridges in 1997, and then he appeared on HBO's Airless in 2002. He also acted in a couple of films like Let's Get Harry and Jerry Maguire. Along with Henley, Frey wrote most of the Eagles' hits. He also provided vocals on songs like Take It Easy, Peaceful Easy Feelin', Already Gone, Tequila Sunrise, Layin' Eyes, New, kind, New Kid in Town, Heartache Tonight, and How Long. In 1985, his song You Belong to the City and Smuggler's Blues were also in the soundtrack of Miami Vice and topped the U.S. album charts. They were also featured in the Billboard Hot 100. His first film, Let's Get Harry, was about a group of plumbers who visit Columbia to set a friend free from a drug lord. 
His next film was Cameron Crowe's Jerry Maguire, in which he played a thrifty general manager of an Arizona Cardinals football team. The Eagles won six Grammy Awards and five American Music Awards. The band was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1998 with 24 singles, including his solo recordings and Eagles singles that made it to the top 40 on the Billboard Top 100. Glenn Frey was married to Jane Beggs from 1983 to 1988. He then married Cindy McMillan in 1990. Frey and Milliken were blessed with three children, a daughter and two sons. Since 2000, he was suffering with a rheumatoid arthritis. The medication led to other complications like coltis and pneumonia. In 2015, he required intestinal surgery. The surgery was never performed due to complications from pneumonia. He was then kept in a medically induced coma. On January 18th, 2016, he passed away in New York City at the age of 67 while recovering from gastrointestinal tract surgery. In 1994, at the Eagles' first live concert after their reunion, he told the crowd, for the record, we never broke up. We just took a 14-year vacation. His son, Deacon Frey, toured with the Eagles after his death.